Hey everyone, it is February 23rd, 2021, and I'm here recording uh, the podcast for this week. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about facing our fears and how if we don't face our fears, we hold ourselves back. You know, I decided to write about facing our fears as there's been a number of different occasions journey, during my 45 years of here on earth where I've gone through life as a spiritual being having a human experience where I've had to face my fears in a number of ways stepping out of my comfort zone on a few occasions there have been many times in my life where I have had to face my fears without hesitation many times where my ego which stands for edging God out or doubt has stopped me Today, this week, I would like to talk about a few different examples of when I've had to face my fears and push forward through them to achieve my goal. The first time I had to face my fears is when I got pregnant at 14 years old. I was living in and out of foster care and on the street. I decided to do, decided, do I have and keep the baby, being just a baby myself, or do I decide to place that baby up for adoption? I faced my fears. I chose to place my son up for adoption. I was scared, and yet I knew I was too young to be a mom. I faced my fears, and I gave them up. Then a few years later, I had another occasion where I had to face my fears. I was 17 years old, in grade 12, and I found myself pregnant again. Only this time, I was also living in addiction. I was so scared. I quit using while I was pregnant. And then I struggled on and off after she was born. So when she was two years old, I was struggling in my addictions and I had to face my fears again and decide, do I raise her struggling on and off the street, wondering where our next meal would come from and in addiction, or do I make the choice to give her up? Thankfully, her dad's parents stepped forward and took her and raised her and I tried to get clean. I never was able to get her back until years later. But I faced my fears, and I chose to do what was right. A few years later, I met a man who I thought was my knight in shining armor. However, this was not the case. I was getting abused, but I was too scared to leave. But 62 days after we were married, I was beaten up by him for the final time. I had to face my fears and charge him and leave him, not knowing where I was going. All I knew is I was not going back to that situation. I also at this time finally embraced getting clean from my addiction and went back to school to get my high school diploma. I faced my fear as I went back to high school. I pushed myself and I did the work and in June of 20, 2006, I graduated from high school, even attending prom and my graduation ceremony. I then stayed single and I got myself off the street and I went to treatment, facing my fears and calling my family to get just the help I needed. A year after being successful at being clean and fearing men and relationships, I decided again to get into a relationship. I faced my fears. And two months after we got together, left Vancouver Island and moved to a province with no support, no family, no friends. And then two years later, married him, staying with him for 10 years. And then again, another life lesson, move again to another province. During those 10 years together, I lost my grandma grandfather, my aunt, my mom, and my grandma, and I had to face the fears of dealing with grief and sober and with no chemical help. At the end of 2016, early 2017, I moved to Alberta with my now ex-husband, and then 11 months later, I faced my fears and took back my power in my life. I kicked him out. I've now been holding up and facing all my fears. In 2017 of December, I faced my fears. I got on a Greyhound bus. I traveled to Banff, Alberta for the weekend, connecting and opening up to spirit and embracing who I am. I faced my fears. And I will always face my fears today because the growth I get after is always life-changing. A few months ago, I had to face my fears again. I had to face my fears as to who I was. Was I just a medium? Was I just a psychic? Was I really this incredible entrepreneur? 
And was I straight? I discovered very quickly that, no, I wasn't straight. I'm a lesbian. And I had to face my fears and come out of the closet. I had to face my fears and tell the world, tell my closest friends and family. You know, it, was, it reminded me of that time in 2017 when I, I got on that Greyhound bus and I traveled and I, I came out to the world as I'm a psychic medium. I'm an intuitive. I'm an empath. I talk to dead people. I connect with energy. I'm a healer. And now at almost 46 years old, I'm facing my fears. I'm embracing love for the first time authentic, real, true love. I'm facing the fact that there is so much going on in our world today that many of us don't even know. I'm facing my fears every single day as I get up and I open the door and I walk outside. I'm facing my fears to even bring this out into the open on this kind of platform. I hope, I pray that by me sharing this story about facing our fears that maybe someone else who's struggling, whether it's an addiction, whether it's in a toxic relationship, or whether it's they're gay or straight, that they can come out of the closet. They can step out of their cozy comfort zone. They can face their fears and be their authentic, all unapologetic selves that they can speak their truth. The moral of this story this week is no matter what happens, face your fears. They will make you stronger. You will always grow from facing them. And don't let your fears hold you back. Face them and allow yourself to grow, to open, to transform. Take off your mask of fear and tell it it's time to have a back seat. This is my life. This is my power. And I'm going to be me. Because this is me. I hope you enjoyed the podcast this week. I would love to hear in the comments how it resonated with you. If it inspired you. Or how it made you feel. No matter what you're going through. Never be afraid. To speak your truth. And to live in a place of being unapologetically, authentically yourself. Namaste.